All right, folks, back again. So I've established some more bearing lines here, and I I had a uh, <clears throat> adjustment to his course as I was going through further refined it. So uh, that uh, you can see the plot looks like it starts over here, but now I've, I've been getting consistent ranges and, uh, and bearings to the extent that I've got 15 minutes worth of good plotting here, uh, and I, I think we're in a good spot now. Got his course adjusted to uh, to about 90 95 or so uh, speed is, is looking to be about 7.3 knots so for those for those of you not familiar with the tools uh, here to measure that you, you select measure time and then set the speed and then uh, run run the length uh, along and then read the read the uh, uh, the minutes off there and you can see 15 minutes and 17 seconds at seven knots so he he's that means you know that this is more more along the lines of 15 minutes even uh, this time period, and so you can see he's going just slightly over seven knots. We we'll call it 7.2 knots or so. Seven, you know, in between seven and eight knots is, is probably close enough for this estimate. So that's that's our speed and course based on plotting here. So uh, biggest thing is you know we've got these bearing lines now. Once we run ahead of him, which we will do now at this point, I will um, I will accelerate. Uh, to, uh, to full ahead, and then we will um, we'll try to run around. I've adjusted my course to be uh, to match his, and at this point, we're just going to simply we're going to run around uh, until we we arrive on his on his what we think is his course line. And as we get close to that, we uh, we will need to um, we will need to. Um, um, Keep an eye out for a zero angle on bow. So that's going to be my goal at this point. So uh, throughout and throughout this this evolution, you're really um, you know you're trying to stay at the limit of visibility, uh, and generally keeping keeping your bearing, um, assuming he's far enough away, keeping your bearing, his bearing rather around uh, the 90 mark. And so that allows you to most efficiently um, get in front of him uh, while while not being uh, not being sighted. Of course, if you if you do end up getting too close, you might have to uh, to adjust adjust course again to get uh, to to put a little separation. But uh, in general, that that'll get you there pretty quickly. And so, uh, and of course, through this uh, throughout this 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 uh, period of engagement, it's also good to just keep checking your. Uh, his angle on the bow against uh, what you're seeing and so you know you say okay I know my own course bearing here is uh, nine three so you can come back here and just keep adjusting the bearing uh, and reading the angle on bow off here uh, and then um, uh, and then comparing that with what you see throughout so uh, also the other thing is too is um, make sure that you're you can also do the same thing at the uh, at the TEC uh, I'm not sure I adjusted the TDC for the change in in his uh, course. I'll do that right now. So 9.4. Uh, landing on ball is 8.6. So I'll just go back and update that for that. So I did change that estimate. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's pretty close there. So 8.6. Eh, it looks to be about, about right. So... Well, we'll really know once we get to, once we hit the zero angle on bow mark. So I will leave you at that, and then we'll, we will revisit uh, once once I get uh, close to the zero angle on bow here. So stand by.